Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. I have for you today a haul video. I know, it's not supposed to be a haul video yet. Well, I had a little problem. I had four or five videos ready to go on my laptop and my laptop died. And I lost all those videos that I had ready to go. I had another haul video. I had the two, I had two craft alongs after the haul videos, after the last haul video that you saw and then the next one. And I had another craft along where I was working with greeting cards. And those I've lost all those videos. Um now my son took my laptop and he's going to try to take out the hard drive and recover them. Hopefully he can do that, but I don't know how long it's going to be. So I'm starting from scratch with another haul video, but luckily it has been quite a while since I last did a haul video since I last recorded one. Um, so I've, it, I've accumulated quite a bit, so that's a good thing. So this may end up having to be two videos. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start with it and get moving and um, see how far we can get. Now, these first things I'm going to show you, I don't know if you've seen them before. I don't think you have um, because if... I showed them it would have been in one of the lost videos not the last video but the lost <laughs> video so I'm gonna just show you and I apologize if you've already seen this but I don't think you have so I'm gonna start with, with those things that I think might be already seen <clears throat> this is I found this at an estate sale it's West Springfield through the years, 1774 to 1974. So it was their bicentennial, um, which was about the same time as, as the town that I grew up in, in Massachusetts, bicentennial. Now this is West Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, I didn't live in West Springfield. I lived in a town nearby. So some of the things in here are familiar to me, but look at the pictures in here. These are just like the coolest pictures. All kinds of pictures in here. Um, so I'm, I was really happy to find this. There really isn't anything in here that is familiar to me. Because like I said, I, I grew up nearby, but not in the town. And, you know, I haven't lived up there for 38 years. So, um... In 1974, was I was 13, so I wouldn't remember anything from 1974. But these, all the pictures that they have in here, are from like I don't know, like the 1800s maybe. I'm not sure exactly uh, when they're from, but they're pretty cool pictures. The paper is this nice heavyweight vanilla paper. It, it's just, it's really nice. So I thought that this was a good find. I kind of scooped it up when I saw it. I, I think, you know, maybe I paid a dollar for it or something, but there's certainly a lot of stuff in here. Now that I'm doing this, I don't think I've shown these things before. Sorry, I'm stretching. I have to stretch because I'm reaching over ow, my the arm of my chair and hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it that way. That's hurting. Me. Okay, <sighs> let me get this stuff up here. So I picked up this. I think I paid two dollars for it. It's very sturdy. It's wire inside here, and it's real wicker. It's not um, it's not 
the plastic stuff and it's I mean this thing is heavy duty and I think I paid two dollars for it I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it but I thought it would be great for um, for sorting paper or ephemera or something so there's that Okay, then there's this stuff. Um, I found this Burpee seed catalog. It's from 1991. And the pages are starting to yellow because it's getting older. So that's nice. It looks nice and aged. I love the pictures in it. It's not too glossy. Um, yeah, I actually paid for this. <laughs> they probably got it for free. But, you know... Hey, why not? I think I paid 50 cents for it. But there's there's some really nice pictures in here. Flower pictures and stuff. So I thought it was worth it. Um, I bought these two Ideals magazines because, well, I can't resist them. I just, I have a pile of them. I hardly ever use them, but I, they're very, very nostalgic for me. Um, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But I don't know how to use a full page like that. I don't know what to do with that to keep the integrity of that picture. If you have any ideas or if you know of any videos where full, big, full pages like this are used, please let me know because I would love to... There's a lot of those kind of pictures in these ideal magazines, and I would love to be able to use them. I'm just not sure how. So this, this has got, you know, it's just, these are beautiful magazines. If you ever see these out there, just pick one up. The pictures in them are gorgeous. And the poems, sometimes there's really good poems in here that you can use or just sayings or quotes or whatever. So I have this one, Golden Moments, and this one is Homespun. I've got some John Wayne in there. Maybe you know what I'm gonna use that for. Where'd it go? <laughs> I, I'm gonna make those journals very, very soon. It's gonna be a video. And I've decided I'm doing two horse journals because I have a lot of stuff for them and I have two books that I want to use for covers and I can't choose between the two so I'm going to make two. Anyway, okay, moving on. Those, those Ideals magazines. Grab those when you see them. Um, oh, I remember this estate sale. This estate sale, I think it was those that paper holder thingy, this magazine. Yeah, most of the stuff that I'm showing you right now. We get up to pay for the thing. And my husband also had something. Oh, he had my all. He had, he had two alls. This was one. Don't you love this? I needed a new all. And so that was something that we kept watching for at the estate sales. And so finally we found two of them. He's got the other one. He has to, um, like clean off this part of it. And so we had the two alls and he had gotten them out in the shed. And the guy said to him, they were like a dollar each, I think. So he had the two alls. He had something else. I had a little pile of stuff. So we get up there and she says, well, there's no price on this. And I said, well, the guy said they were a dollar each. So she punched in the numbers in the register. I'm assuming she put in a dollar. I don't know. Maybe she put in two because somebody else tried to t say two. And I said, well, the guy said one. So I don't know. But then she gets to some of these other things that I got. And she's like, well, I don't see a price on these. So is there no price on anything? And looked at me like she's accusing me of taking the prices off of things or something. And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders. I'm like, well, I don't know. Some of them have prices. It, you know, it's like, what are you saying, lady? Are you, are you seriously going to sit out? 
Are you seriously going to sit there and accuse me of something? I was not happy and I was really tempted to just drop the stuff and walk out. But I really wanted the, the alls. <laughs> um, and there's another thing here that I wanted I'm going to show you. So I was just like really, really turned off by that. I, I was not happy with her. You know... You don't accuse your customer. You're the ones that didn't put the prices on, not me. Ugh. Anyway. Sometimes you don't always have good experiences at estate sales. Book plates. Those are pretty cool. I don't know what she charged me for these things that had no prices on them. Not my fault. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So that's, those are the fun parts of estate sales. So I picked this up. This is a, um, I don't know if it's Jewish or Muslim. I'm not sure, but it, it, I'm pretty sure it's a prayer book, but I love the, the font of the, um, it's funny how they have every once in a while something in English. <laughs> I love the font. I think it's Yiddish. I'm not sure. If you're familiar, maybe you can let us know. Um, but I love it. It's it's very to me. It looks artistic. And there's some English here, but and it's very small, which is cool. So I grabbed that. Just these couple of little um, notepads. I like little notepads. They're, I don't think they're very vintage. You know, probably maybe from the 80s or 90s. They've got fax numbers on them, so maybe 90s. I don't know. But I just picked those up. Hopefully she didn't charge me much for those. A protractor because... Um, because... I watched somebody, it was probably Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, make a mandala. And she used a protractor. So I, of course, I said, I got to get a protractor <laughs> so I can make a mandala, which I probably will never do, but you never know. So I have a protractor. Then, let's see, I need to make room here. They had a, f a couple of old magazines. I just picked up one because I do have a pile of magazines that um, I just haven't cut into yet. I, I need to use them. I know. Um, but this one's from 1967. It's um, It says it's part three of the death of a president. No, I just can't even imagine that many magazines in a row devoted to the same issue but this has like all kinds of things um it's got some of the great old ads it's got i don't know it's from 1967 so you know the kind of stuff that you find in those magazines this paper here is like all almost newspaper print or paperback paper type of print look at the cars that's a cool ad. All through the years. That's very cool. And then, of course, you have your cigarette ads that are no longer in magazines. So, anyway, that's um, that, one's a, that one's pretty cool. So, I love the old magazines. And I'll pick one up every once in a while. And I really do need to start cutting into them they had um in one of the rooms they had bookshelves full of books and they had a sign all books are a dollar i'm pretty sure it was a dollar it might have been two dollars i'm I, I don't know but either way that it was one price for all the books so i'm looking at the books and i'm like eh, there's not much here and i look up onto the top shelf and i see a, a book like this, I see this edge of the book and I'm like, oh, what's that? It looks old. So I pull it down 
and it is this. Oh my God, you guys. At first I thought, okay, I'm sure there's no stamps in it, um, but I can use the, the pictures that are in it, right? This book, not in good shape at all, but it is full of stamps. And this is worldwide stamps. So these are stamps from all over. Um, they're all older stamps because the book itself is old. So there's no modern stamps in here. Look at that. Can you believe it? Um, the book is, the book itself is copyright 1919. Uh, I did find another date in it somewhere that tells me that it was maybe from the the person who had it was from the 30s. Maybe somebody gave it to her who had it earlier. I don't know. But there's some very old stamps in here. Now, I have a stamp collection. I actually have two stamp albums, more uh, current stamp albums. Of course, they go back. You know, when you buy a stamp album, it starts at the beginning and, and goes forward and and i looked online and now to get a stamp album that covers all the years up to like 2021 is like a hundred and something dollars for the album i didn't i'm not buying one but my son said he might buy it so i don't know um so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take these stamps that are in here and see if i have them or not um, if I don't have them, of course, I'll put these into my album. And if I have them, then they'll go into my duplicate pile, which I will use to craft with. I uh, do not think, I mean, I, for a stamp to be very, very valuable, it has to be a very rare stamp. And you have to know the, the very small nuances and details of the stamps to know if it's that one million dollar stamp. I don't know those nuances. I'm not going to research those nuances. Someday in the future, if somebody finds my stamp albums in an estate sale or whatever, they can do that research and get the million dollars. I'm not gonna do that. So yes, I know there might be valuable stamps in here. I don't know. If I don't already have them, I will keep them. If I already have them, then they're probably not the rare valuable stamps that you're thinking. So if I already have them, they're going into my craft box. <laughs> but I thought this was such a cool find. They didn't know what they had. Um, in the same estate sale, I saw on a table in another room a little baggie, like a sandwich bag of stamps modern stamps not these kind of stamps and they wanted five dollars for it and i was like if they knew that they had this they would not be charging me one or two dollars for this book so i snatched that thing up and and i went out of there and i was like nah, 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 nah. you're gonna bitch at me because there's no prices on your stuff you should have looked a little bit better when you were pricing your stuff <laughs> Okay, that was not nice, but sometimes that's how you feel, you know? Okay, uh, into the bag we go here. I was saying how I very rarely find actual vintage ephemera at estate sales. And that's true. I very, very rarely find it. I found this. There was this estate sale had in their garage, which is a very poor place in Florida to store books. Um, but they had in their garage bookshelves full of books. So I was anxious to get in there and see what was in there. They were all cookbooks. They were all cookbooks. I was like, oh, darn it. I don't do cookbooks. I don't, I've, I don't cook. So it's not something that interests me, but I looked anyway, because you never know what you're going to find in there. They were not in good shape because they were stored in a garage. Um, but I found this, and I think this is original. 
It's dated 1875 on the front. It's the Old Farmer's Almanac. Um, and it's so cool. It's a, a little bit fragile. Um, I do not know if it had been like rebound at some point. There's, it's like, I don't know if you can see this. I, I'm afraid to like do too much to it. It's got this stitching right here. Which I thought was interesting. And then this like loop at the top. Like somebody had hung it somewhere. Um, it doesn't have many. There's no illustrations or pictures in it. A little bit here on the, the uh, Zodiac pages. But it's like. I don't know. It's just so cool. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Because I don't, I, I don't want to destroy this. Because if this is truly from 1875, then that's like, that's gold to me, you know. So, I have that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have it. They had a closet with some games. They were current games, mostly. But they had this, this score pad. For all popular card games um, it's just got like player written across and columns the paper is you know aged nicely and in the back are these other pages that tell you how to play different games auction bridge and there's this kind of bluish green paper with contract bridge so it's kind of cool like that and again not sure what i'm going to do with it i couldn't find any date on it so i don't know how old it is but i'm going to guess i don't know 50s maybe i don't know what would you say with that kind of cover there's like nothing in it date wise at all I just thought it was kind of cool, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that either. Um, okay. My bags are a mess here, so... That is not... I have some other stuff mixed in here. This is not thrift store. Okay. I guess I stopped at the Dollar Tree. Is this all I bought? I, I must have gone in for something else. But I got more of these metallic stickers. Keep checking your Dollar Tree. They've got... Um, they change their stuff out quite often. So you got to keep looking. Picked up this somewhere, thrift store or something. Um, it's a Louisa May Alcott Little Women. It's I, I believe this is made by Reader's Digest. I don't know whether to keep this for my collection or to cut it up. It's like never been read. It's it's never been used. Um, let me see if there's a date in it. Nineteen eighty five is the most recent date in here. So, you know, it's not like super old. But like I said, I don't think it was ever actually even read. So, you know, I have a dilemma. Do I keep it in my collection of books? Because it is a very nice book. I don't know. I would like to do a Little Women journal someday, but I do have some other Little Women books that I can use for a cover. So I may just save this one and use the other ones first before I break into this because it, it is 
like I said, it's in really good condition. So I don't know. Sometimes I just hate to, I hate to cut up the books. I found this. I thought it was really cool. Um, I, I'm really not sure what I would, what type of journal I would use these kind of things in, but I just liked them. I thought they were cool. They're obviously old. Um, I don't know. I just like it. This has both the stencils in it, I believe. I'm wondering if this there was a sale this day because I don't know if I would have paid three dollars for this. It's it's a couple of stencils. What is this? Well, here's some. This would be a cool junk journal thing to redo and make. Okay, so the stencils. I'm like all over the place today. Do I feel discombobulated or something? I don't know. Um, you can't see these, can you? Hold on. Let me find a piece of white paper. Well, that's not... <laughs> Alright, so this is leaves. Which is very cool. These kind of look like poinsettias here. But there's... Um, and that's holly. There's a pine cone, pine needles, some other leaves. So that, that stencil's kind of cool. And then this one is flowers. That's lilacs. A rose. And some other, other flowers. So I thought those stencils were kind of cool. Note cards that I thought were pretty has not even been opened. It's not the seal has never even been broken. Very pretty. I like those. Those are very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little bit of glitter, a little bit of sparkle on it, but like not too much. And the butterflies. That's really pretty. That was a that was a good little good little pickup there. I like that. I have like no space, no space here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Um, what do I have here? I don't even know as usual what I got. Oh, we went into a, a rummage sale. Did I get these at the rummage sale? Maybe. No, I don't know where I got those. Sometimes I combine my bags, stuff in my bags, because um, I gather it from the, I, I come in the house, I drop it on the kitchen table, and then a couple of days later I gather it all up and bring it in my room, and then at that point sometimes I combine stuff in the bags, and I don't know where things came from, but that's okay. Yep. Buttons, 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 buttons. I keep picking them up. I don't know why. I can't help myself. I just love them so much. This looks like it's got a lot of the same stuff in it. Um, but, yep, more buttons. I got this pretty, <clears throat> pretty little trim. I like this stuff for some reason. This bag of stuff for 75 cents. Now, if this was the rummage sale, 
which it might have been, everything was half, half price. Did they seal this? They used a sealer to seal this. The pack is sealed. How weird is that? All right, look what I'm doing. Look. <laughs> I'm not fumbling. I'm cutting. Okay, so what do we have in here? Some white. Is, is this elastic? No. So we got some white ribbon and some white trim. Some, well, you can see ribbon. This is all ribbon. I don't use much ribbon. What am I going to do with all this ribbon? Oh my goodness. Mary, why'd you buy this? <laughs> Thin, narrow ribbon. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> um, Woody? No, yeah, that's Woody. Toy Story. <laughs> and some school type ribbon. These are nice. These are good for like um, the edges of the inside or let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so like when you have wrapped your fabric around your spine and you have the raw edge of the fabric, these types of things are good to go along the edge of the fabric. This one I used a wider one, but like here on the inside too. So that's what those, those flat braided type things are good for. That's what I use them for anyway. Okay. I'll just keep piling them up here. Now, I bought this bag. It's $1.50. Use cards for crafts. Thank you. Again, they sealed the bag up. It's just funny. I must have got these at a thrift store. I thought these were from... I went to a church rummage sale and got some stuff. I don't know. That was the last haul video, I think. I don't know. I'm so confused and mixed up with my haul videos now. Um, losing those videos really threw me off. All right. Let me make sure. <clears throat> not make sure, but I hope that these aren't all Christmas. I really hope they're not. Because I don't, I don't do, I don't do a lot of Christmas. Oh gosh, Christmas. Uh, no, I don't want Christmas, Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. <clears throat> what? Oh, they cut the sentiments out, off. Oh my gosh, you guys. This was a mistake. I should have looked at these more closely. I do like Charlie Brown, though. All Christmas. Look at this. I have nothing against Christmas. I do like that one. Um, and I do have a, a Christmas journal. But I don't do a whole lot in it. Certainly not enough to warrant this <laughs> many Christmas cards. Yikes. I use my own Christmas cards that I get. I thought this was going to have something else in it besides Christmas cards. Oh my goodness. No, it all... It's all Christmas. Mary, you dumb. <laughs> Anybody need old Christmas cards? This is like cut from a magazine or something. Those are cute, but... Oh my gosh. Well, I have lots of scrap paper. Lots of scrap paper. I love this parchment paper from Card, but that one's written all over. Not written all over, but it's got a... 
Yikes. There's a old piece of parchment. I can cut that off. <laughs> I have that. Wow. This is an older one. That's kind of cool. I can I can salvage some of this stuff. I guess one day I'm going to have to sit here and go through and figure out what I want and what I don't want. Oh my gosh. Who sat here and cut all these things up? I guess the same kind of person that's going to sit here and go through and decide what I want and what I don't want. Oh, wow. I love the parchment paper, but with the writing on it, there's not a whole lot I can do with that part of it. Now this one, I can't see through it, so that one I can use for collaging or something. But some of this stuff is... Some of this I'm not going to be able to use at all. But I guess I'll go through and, like a good junk journaler, will salvage what I can. That's really pretty. See, so, now some of these are, this is pretty. Some of these I might be able to salvage something from. Lots of Bibles on here. Again, nothing against Bibles. I'm just not a religious person, so it's not something I would use. That's pretty. Oh, <laughs> That's really pretty. All right, so it's redeeming itself here. There's a few in here that I like. Here's one with the parchment paper. That's really pretty, and I like it when oh, they took out the... I don't care if Uncle Bob signed it. That... <laughs> I don't know Uncle Bob, so it's okay if you leave that in there. They didn't have to cut the, all that out. What's that from? Home of Andrew Jackson. Cool. Oh, that's classic 70s. Look at that. I like that. Uh, and again, what? why? We don't know Aunt Sally that sent this. You don't have to cut that out. She might have had really cool handwriting that we could have used that. But look at that. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Usually I sneeze three times in a row. Very similar types of cards. Somebody must have been uh, had some good surgery or been very sick. Now this has a date on it, May 1974. So some of these clearly are from the 70s, I can tell. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of these I don't know how how I'm going to use them but you know I'll go through them um it's funny I recorded a video using greeting cards that I had in my stash so I recorded it and like two days later after I recorded it I think I got a happy mail and she sent me some greeting cards and they were the nice old ones. <clears throat> and some of them were that parchment paper and everything. And I was like, wow, I just got done doing that video. And now I have more cards to kind of replenish the, I only had a few of those old ones. So that gave me some more of the old ones, which was really cool. So I was really happy. That's kind of pretty. Oh, look at that. to figure out how I can use that hmm so I was really happy to get those cards and then I guess it I don't know if it was before that that I picked these up or after it I'm not no it must have been before it that I picked these cards up so now I have like a lot of cards to use so maybe 
I will redo that card crafting with greeting cards video. Obviously, I can't do it exactly what I did, but I can. Um, it's another one of those. Um, but I can certainly make some new things using these cards and the cards that um, were sent to me. That's pretty 70s. I like that one. I'll have to go through and pick out some that I want to save for my 70s journal. All right, I know you're probably really bored looking at these cards now, but some of these are, they're pretty vintage, and they're, this was, ooh, look at that. This did turn out, once I got past all the Christmas cards, to be um, a good, this was a good pick. Another parchment paper one. I really like those. Somebody was sick. Somebody had surgery or something. That's pretty. Mm, not quite the parchment paper. Ooh, look at this one. This one's well aged. Look at that. Ooh. I like that. Oh, that one's pretty. All right, so we got some good cards in here. And these will be fun to go through. And I think I might have my craft along video. Or an idea of it anyway. Okay. I'm going to just stick these back in here for now. All right, I wasted a lot of time doing that. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. What have I got? Oh my gosh, only about 15 minutes left. And then we're going to have to go to video number two. Didn't show you much in this one yet, have I? Sorry. All right, we're going to move along here. This is um, rent receipts, or just not, this doesn't have to be rent receipts, just receipts. But look at that coloring on these. These are really cool, aged, like, they're old. They're not super, super old because they were, they have a barcode and they were bought at Walmart, but before Walmart went to uh, scanners, so... Kind of cool. This is a coloring book. One thing I like about the coloring books is you can use it as a page, a signature page. You can just take the whole page and tuck it inside a pocket or something. Or you can color the images and cut them out and use them as uh, decor or look at the mushrooms. So it's, I like a good coloring book. You've seen me get those before. My stuff got all squished. I wonder if the cat got in the bag. I bet she did. All right, so we have some stickers. These are just number stickers. And I thought these letter stickers were kind of cool. And I know stickers get old and they don't stick anymore, but that's what glue is for. I, it doesn't bother me. These are pretty ones. These are fabric. They're like um, canvassy like. I thought those would be pretty on something. 50 cents for this embossing folder that is, excuse me, um, like handwriting. And this was a dollar. Cool, cool. 
I cannot bring myself to buy, except for the Dollar Tree, I can't bring myself to buy craft stuff in the retail stores anymore. I just, I don't need it bad enough to do that because, I mean, look what I get. Look, I mean, for literally pennies on the dollar. You, you just, there's no point in buying things from a craft store anymore. I mean, unless you want the latest and greatest, but I don't feel the need for the latest and greatest all the time. I don't think this is junk journal supplies. What is this? <laughs> what did I buy? It sounds like a bell. It is a bell. Oh, it's Odagiri. Pretty sure it's Odagiri. It's made in Japan, so I think it is. It looks like Odagiri. Um, yeah, for 79 cents, this is for me to resell. I don't make a lot of money reselling. <laughs> we, we went, um, was it last month? I think it was. We did it and we actually made $111. So that was kind of cool. That's my, my play money, my spending money, you know? Um, so that's kind of fun. It's a good way to get just a little bit of, a little bit of play money. Cut the bag, Mary. Somebody, somebody left me a comment. Why don't you just cut the bags? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I don't cut the bags. So I'm cutting the bags. Silly. Silliness is what it is. All right. Here's complete color-coded flashcards. Oh, these are cool. So they're music ones that tell you all about music. That's not the back of that one. Bass clef sign. Treble clef sign. These are cool. So they're all different colors. They're not real vintage, but I can, you know, if you want vintage, you can vintage them up. If you don't want vintage, you got them not vintage. They're cool. I really like these. That's something a little bit different. I like that. Ay, ay, ay. Where do I put stuff? I got this because it's different colors. It's just notebook paper, but it's this peach and this, it's got purple, peach, and pink. So that's fun, right? Fun colors. This, look at this. The only reason, maybe not the only reason, but one reason that I bought this is for this needle card. That's worth $2. Let's use the rest of the time, maybe the rest of the time, looking in this bag. Because I don't know what's in here, except for that. And I'm not cutting the bag because I need to put this stuff back into it. Sorry for the noise. Okay. What have we got? We have needles. Always useful, right? Oh, a button hook. That's nice. That's very nice. I don't know. That might be celluloid. I don't think it's Bakelite. That's pretty cool. It says something on it. Ivory, France? Is that ivory? It looks more like, feels more like plastic though. I don't know, but it's very cool. All right, we have some old safety pins. Those are useful. Uh, another needle. That's got a nice wide um, eye on it. 
I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to make one of those needle books that I see everybody making. But I probably never will. <laughs> Some pins. I have a lot of pins. Some tea pins. Not sure what I'll do with those. Some little stitch marker rings. I'm not sure what you use these for. Something in sewing to mark stitches. I guess I can do something with those. Nana. Made with love by Nana. I'm Gammy. I'm not Nana. I have to find a Nana to give those to. We have some hooks. More needles. Oh, we have some iron-on patches in pretty, pretty colors. Look at those. I'll do something with those. Those might be fun to play with. I have a dressmaker's pencil. I don't know what I, how I would use that. I might. A stitch holder. Well, that's pretty vintage looking. I don't know what those numbers at the top mean. There's no barcode on it, so this is pretty old. I might just keep that. I don't know. I can't keep everything. <laughs> Circular knitting needles. I don't know what I would do with those. Bondex. Iron-on fabric mending tape. A bobbin, always useful if it fits your machine. Elastic braid and elastic straps. I'm guessing for a bra. Some stuff is just going to have to go. Some kind of a needle. A little screwdriver. I can use that. Some more needles of various sizes. Household needle repair kit. Wow. And it tells you what to use them for. Sacks and mats. Candle wicking, leather, rugs, carpets, canvas, lampshades, and upholstery. Interesting. Very cool. A button. Um, oh, oh goodness. There's a whole, <laughs> whole pile of tangled up bobbins. A plastic needle. A pair of scissors. Oh my. <laughs> some grommets of some type. This, this, this jar is glass. That's cool. Sewing machine needle. A mitten. Okay, that went to something. I don't know what that went to. This is a case for sewing machine needles, but there's no needles in there. There's another mitten. What are the mittens for, guys? They have holes in the bottom. Looks like something went in there. I don't know. These are all T-pins. What am I going to do with all those T-pins? I don't even know what I would use those for. Bobbin, a pin cushion. This one goes on your wrist which the elastic is all stretched out, so that's not going to work that way. We have sewing machine needles. This is what I bought it for. This is cool. My mother collects these. We kind of collect them together, but she's the holder of the collection. So that will go in that collection. 
Easy Stitcher makes sewing fun. It's like a little hand handheld stitcher thing, which we don't have, <laughs> but we have the instructions for it. Okay, we have some rulers. Robertson Rebatting Service. This is old because the phone number is 1 6260. That's pretty cool. That'll go in my ruler collection. Federal Mogul Service. What's a mogul service? Complete bearing and oil seal service. Decimal equivalents. Huh. That also will go in my ruler collection. And we have one of these. And more mittens. What the heck are the mittens for? You guys know what these mittens are for? I don't know. A thimble. A nice thimble. And more, um, more bobbins. I have a lot of bobbins. I think these will fit my machine. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out and see if they will. And it has been about an hour. So I'm going to end this video and start the next video. And, um... Yeah, we'll see what, what else I've got in this magical bag over here that seems to not have a bottom to it. And we will, uh, yeah, check that out. And I will do a craft along. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, the greeting cards that I got. And I don't, I'll see if there's anything else in this haul that will work in a craft along I'm not sure um, I don't know I'll have to see what else I've got it doesn't it, I can't I'm sitting here looking at the pile and thinking what can I craft with I'll figure it out and we'll do a, a fun craft along um, but for now I'm going to say goodbye I'm going to clear myself some space and then I will come back for the next haul video with the rest of the stuff I have in my bag. So we will, um, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.